Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a video all about my nose piercing. So a few months ago I posted a video on my YouTube channel and it was about me getting my nose pierced. It got a lot of views and I have a lot of questions from you guys asking about the process and just asking different questions because you are interested in getting your nose pierced too. The video will be linked down below if you want to watch it, but if you have some questions or want to know everything you should know before getting a nose piercing, this is the video for you to watch. This is all based on my own experience. Obviously it will be different for wherever you go, but this was my experience So I hope these tips were helpful if you have any more questions Please comment them down below and I will be sure to answer them in the comments. All right, let's get into it So first I'll be answering some of the commonly asked questions that you guys ask a lot and then I will be giving you some of my tips so the first question that I got a lot was how old are you or how old do you have to be to get a piercing? Now I am 17. The place I went to, I didn't require an adult or an adult signature. I just needed my identification. So I brought my driver's license. You can bring a health card or a passport depending on where you live. But my biggest recommendation is to just call the tattoo and piercing place that you're thinking of going to and ask them what you need if you are underage or if you don't know how old you need to be. Sometimes you'll need a parent signature sometimes you will need a parent or guardian present at the appointment sometimes you don't need any of that and you'll just need identification like i did it all depends on where you go where you live and how old you are one day i was actually out and i was with my friend and we were passing by the piercing place so we just decided to go in and ask how much it would cost and how to book an appointment and how old i needed to be and they were super super nice so definitely call or even go in person if you are in the area so yeah it really just all depends on where you go the next question i got a lot is does it hurt and what does it feel like so the feeling is really hard to explain because it was so mild and so quick it was just over in a snap if you saw the video you'll see that like i barely flinched and it was just like a super quick process and that's really what it was like that's the only way i can explain it it was just so fast it was literally like somebody was pinching your nose for like two seconds and then it was over obviously i closed my eyes so maybe that helped a little bit but i think the thing that's the scariest about it is the anticipation when you're just sitting in the chair and you're just just like nervous and then when the needles like coming towards your nose but the actual piercing part itself did not hurt it's just the excitement the anticipation i think it also helped that i had a really great piercer do my nose she's so sweet and just so you know i'm not gonna surprise you i'll let you know exactly what's going on oh, wow. focus on your breathing all that good stuff and she was really helpful explaining to me what was happening so I wasn't nervous. I think that that really helps to have a good experience because you're not nervous. If you're nervous, you might hurt more, uh, just depending on how you handle that kind of pain and stuff like that. I have a really low pain tolerance, but it was actually really painless. And if you don't like pain and stuff like that, then I think you'll be fine because it literally felt like nothing. The best way I can explain it is like a pinch that lasted one second. And I didn't really feel any pain afterwards. Some people feel pain afterwards they bleed a lot or they pass out i personally didn't feel that but again it's all depending on you personally so i definitely recommend eating a well-balanced meal before you go and drinking lots of water so that if you have a tendency to pass out or anything like that or you don't like needles you are making sure that you are prepared for anything the next question i got is how much does it cost obviously this is dependent on where you live and what piercing place you go to i went to a piercing and tattoo place and my overall total was 60 dollars Canadian, so of course depending on where you live that's different and that included the piercing and the jewelry so i just got a little silver stud with a little diamond on it and i think that it's really cute i chose silver instead of gold i personally like that they only had one size of piercing so i actually don't know what size this is but this is just like a standard size so obviously it depends on where you go and where you live depending on the place because mine was 60 i think it's totally worth it to spend a little bit more money on it because you know that it's at a safe place and you know that you're paying for the quality of service you want to make sure that the piercing place you go to is clean because you don't want to get an infection the place i went to was literally so great i went to a place called black pearl piercings and tattoos if you live in the gta and you are looking for a tattoo place or a piercing place they have really great prices really great customer service and they're just overall an amazing establishment next question is which side is like the best for piercing so obviously this is all up to your own opinion 
I got mine pierced on the left side. I did a little bit of research beforehand and the left side is more common to get your nose pierced on, but obviously whichever side you want to get it pierced on, it's totally up to you. I got left side because that's more common. I've read that it's more common for cultural reasons and stuff like that. I don't know the exact background about it, but that is what I decided to get. But I think it would have looked cute on the left or the right side and who knows, maybe in the future I'll get like a septum piercing or like a double piercing, so who knows. Next question is which type of stud did I get? I didn't have a choice of what the stud was. I actually had no idea that there were different types, but mine was like, it has a little corkscrew end where it like is curved. So I think that this is a great shape. I don't know what the other shapes are like. I have seen, I've seen some that are like a right angle. I've seen other shapes too, where it's like, has like a backing. I think that this shape is great. This is a shape I got from my piercing place. I guess it depends on where you go, but um, they didn't really give me an option. They kind of just use the corkscrew piercing, but I think it works great. It's never fallen out. I've had no problems with it coming out or loosening or anything. So I think this is a great shape if you do get to choose. I also got a lot of questions about cleaning the piercing and stuff like that. I used a saline solution to clean it twice a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon or like in the evening. A saline solution is basically just some sea salt and some warm water and you want to stir it till the sea salt is dissolved. I put it in a little glass and just put it up against my nose for like a minute. I think that Crust is inevitable when you have your nose pierced because of like the buildup of the cells around your nose around the piercing So you just want to make sure that you clean it and you're gentle with it So a tip that I have that actually one of the viewers on the video commented I will leave the comment right here And she basically said that if you are getting a nose piercing get a stud first because if you get a hoop The piercing will heal in like a curved way. I don't know. She did a better job of explaining it So I will put the comment on the screen so you can read it yourself. Thank you so much for commenting this I actually had no idea that this was a thing before I got my piercing. I just figured that a stud is more my style. So I figured once my stud heals, I can get a hoop if I want to. So as she said, definitely get a stud first like I did and then you can change it if you want to get a hoop just so that your piercing heals in a proper way. Thank you so much for commenting this tip honestly. I had no idea but it's so great that I get to learn from you guys and you guys get to learn from me and we get to like share tips. Isn't the internet great? The next thing is to clean it regularly. You don't want to get infected. You don't want to get an infection on your nose obviously so you want to clean it. I clean it around twice a day. My nose hasn't gotten infected so I don't exactly know what to do if your nose does get infected but there are are lots of solutions online if you do get a keloid or a nose bump and saline solutions are supposed to be super super helpful but yeah if you keep your piercing clean then you should have no problem also you do not want to touch your piercing you don't want to fidget with it i know it's so hard especially when you just want to touch it if you do touch it you just want to make sure that your hands are freshly washed so that you're not transferring any of the bacteria from your hands onto your piercing because that can also irritate it and possibly get an infection so that's super important to think about. If you do need to touch it, then just use either clean, freshly washed hands or a Q-tip if you need to. Again, I've never had an infected nose piercing, so I don't actually know if these tips work to get rid of a bump, but there are videos online that can help you to get rid of a nose bump. So if you do have an infected piercing, make sure you check out those videos. I hope that these tips helped you, and if you're thinking of getting a nose piercing, honestly, just do it. It's literally so fun. And if you don't like it, you can literally just take it out. Like, that's the great thing about piercings is that if you don't like it just remove it and then you're good hopefully these tips will make you feel a little bit less nervous because i know that i was super nervous going into it i was scared but i hope that this video helped you get a little bit less nervous make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye everyone